Well, I figured this is probably the best time to do this video. Um, believe it or not, the shop's actually sort of clean. And most of my tools are in one spot. Uh, I had a guy ask uh, if I could do a video about my tools, so I guess here we go. I got uh, two compressors. Uh, I use the black one mostly. Um, it's not really good for running a whole lot, but it'll run my, uh, my impact gun and it'll fill tires. So works pretty good. Paid 50 bucks for it at a garage sale, brand new. So can't go wrong. A uh, little air tank there if I get on tank. I got my 12 ton A-frame press. We we'll used it a couple times, works pretty good. Uh, of course I got air hoses and uh, and extension cords and whatnot. I got my homemade uh, parts washer tank. That actually works real good, just cleaned it out, got it working good. Uh, of course I got lights and uh, some various crap here, jumper cables, whatever. Got a nice vise, I like this one. It's a, I believe an 8 inch, works real good. Got it pretty cheap. Uh, I got two battery chargers there and another one over on the shelf. All three of them work. Um, I got a little creeper, I got a vacuum, and a whole bunch of parts under here, no tools. Uh, this bench that I've got here <coughs> is actually came out of a bar, it's a cooler. They were going to throw it away, so I snagged it up. It's nice, it's got a nice uh, stainless steel top, it's on wheels, I can move it around if I need to. Works good. Um, had various electrical tools, a couple of meters, uh, scan tool, distributor wrench, spark plug checker, you know, just uh, random electrical stuff. Funnel back there, grease gun. Uh, pulled these shelves out of an old house. They work good, tacked them up on the wall. Uh, now on to my craftsman box. A uh, good box, got a lot of tools in this one. Um, picks, tape measure, little tool I made for transmissions, uh, spark plug gappers, feeler gauges, uh, tire tools, kind of a little bit of everything. Um, piston ring compressor, you, know, you never know when you're going to need a machete, so I got one of them. A couple magnets, uh, got nut drivers, chisels and punches, Allen wrenches, a whole mess of screwdrivers. Uh, this is, would be my uh, my pliers drawer, cutting tools, stuff like that. I got two of those. Big wrenches and an impact driver. And here is my impact sockets, my deep wells. Quite a few of them. I got a. Uh, a tie rod, inner tie rod tool. Uh, I got some uh, some pickle fork tools in there. Ball joint press. I got uh, a little scraper. It actually works real nice. And then I got three drawers full of sockets. I got quarter inch with a quarter inch torque wrench. Three eighths with all sorts of sockets and ratchets. I got my half inch drawer here along with a half inch and a three quarter inch torque wrench. And this is my hammer and pry bar drawer. I also got a pair of tin snips and a pickle fork and a tire iron in there, but oh and a slide hammer too. All sorts of good stuff. The bottom drawer here I got to drill bits, extractor set, a couple of cheapy uh, tap and die sets and some impact sockets. And now over to my homemade my homemade bench. It's basically some old cabinets that came out of a house and a solid wood door. Works pretty good. Uh, what have I got in here? Yeah, spray paint, gloves, and just car parts in there. A couple more sockets on top. Oh, just various uh, O-rings and E-clips and cotter pins and grommets and tire patch kit. Oh, and I got a bunch of bunch of different uh, screw bits. And what's this? A bearing race installer tool and various uh, car parts, terminals, hose clamps, fuses, 
whatnot. Oil pressure tester in the box for the die grinder. <laughs> uh, broken drills, cordless drills. I got a whole drawer full of them. And let's see here. That's just paperwork stuff. Various air tools and just random junk. Huh. A fish scaler. <laughs> Didn't know I had one of them. A few C clamps. A big drill bit case full of drill bits. These are the good uh the good cobalt ones. They break kinda easy though, but whatever. And then I got my random uh random stuff. Wiring, washers, screws, bolts, nuts, fuses. And then I got my red box, my Waterloo box. This one was actually free. Um, let's see, I got the hammers, more hammers. I got air tools in here, a seal installer kit, pulley kit, uh, battery cleaner, overhead valve spring compa compressor. Yeah, let's see what else I got. This is mostly grinding stuff. I got a rivet gun. Yeah, wire brushes, more grinding stuff. Oh, and a tubing, tube flaring kit. I actually have two of those. Uh, sandpaper, I got two dial or uh, digital calipers, a six inch and a four inch. Pulley remover set for, uh, those are for power steering pumps. Uh, brake tools, trim tools, that's my other, my other flaring kit there. Oil filter wrenches, uh, vacuum gauge, zip ties, and more sockets, more sockets, and then uh, RTV stuff, various greases, drill bits, whatever. Kind of a junk drawer. Um, not a whole lot in there. I got a hone, some glow sticks for wiring. Uh, Line disconnect tool, injection pump tester, compression tester. Looks like I got a fish tape on the bottom and uh, some random tools that came out of that dealership. I don't even know what half them are. I think those all came out of the dealership. Got my stack of books, a few chainsaws here. Uh, they all work good. Oh, this one don't cut so good because it needs a new chain, but. And then in the back, those are more dealership tools they were throwing away. Snag them up. Uh, what have I got over here? I got a bar that you put across and hook the engine to for when you're doing work on front wheel drive vehicles. Uh, caliper tool set for pushing the calipers back in, winding them back. Cylinder leakage tester. I got, all well, these are axle nut sockets big, big honking things what's that in the back master spindle rethreading kit oh yeah those are nice and snap rings way in the back snap ring pliers I got a three quarter set just a cheapy one that comes in handy every now and again and then I got two of these engine stands. One's actually over on the other side with an engine on it. Got my engine crane. That works great. Uh, three floor jacks. All of them work. That one's kind of broken, but I can still make it work. And a little bench I, we made up out of an old countertop. Put some wheels on it and roll it around. Oh, and my overhead, uh, my overhead crane thing. That's pretty nice. I think that's about it. You got nine minutes of my tools. Uh, yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. Way up there, there's a cam bearing installer tool. And of course, I forgot about the wrenches. They're kind of obvious, though. And I got pullers, all sorts of pullers. And this one's for the Seneca to get the rear drums off. Okay, now I think that's it. Alright, I think I think that's all it.